Hello, my friends. Today, I want to tell you that life and this journey are what you make of them. And there's a lot of this that's not in our control, for sure. But every single story that has probably, if you think about it, ever really inspired you or moved you or touched you involved something going really, really, really wrong. Like very wrong, very not good, uh, bad, just, just bad, just very bad. So that doesn't mean that there's no hope for you. It just means you're part of a really amazing story. That's all it means. If you decide that, if you decide that. And in that vein, I want to give you some ideas of things to play with with this because thing everything is what we make of it and we can create concepts we can create games for ourselves i really encourage you to find movies or stories that inspire you to make the most of what you're going through it is just such a helpful practice so movies are great um i'm gonna just tell you some of the ones i like that whether depending on what what's in your training zone at this point um and they're not classics. It's just Disney movies because I have kids. So I love the Croods because pretty much all the characters in that movie are the limbic system externalized. And it is so funny to listen to it because it's like, oh, that's an anthropomorphized limbic system. Yep, that's what that is. And I love Moana. Uh, we bought a zoo. Frozen 2, not the first one, but the second one. Incredible allegory for the heroine's journey in particular. Um... And I just encourage you to think about the kind of experiences that those characters had to put yourself in their shoes. To ask yourself how you can make a choice you'll be proud of. How you can build a story, how you can co-create a story with life that you'll be happy that you, that you were a part of. And the other thing I want to suggest to you is that you find some of these um, allegories of life, things that you really connect with, that you can come back to again and again. In this journey, we often have to let go of everything that is familiar to us and creating new things that we can sew in as consistent metaphors for our own experience can create a sense of consistency through inconsistency. For me, life is an ocean. And I am its master. Steven looks like me. Um, and I found these randomly. They are not mine. They belong to my children. And I took them. <laughs> but they're th things that you can hold on to, literally things you can hold on to, things you can bring with you, things that can, you can come back to again and again. I have a big, a big old sail ship over there, um, a model. It's a pirate boat, actually. Um, so think in archetypes, think in stories, think in um, characters and things that you can literally hold on to through this journey to help yourself hold on to who you're choosing to be the story you're choosing to tell with your journey you have been given the potential to create a truly earth-shattering witness to what it is to be alive to what it is to be human so make the most of it and there are some suggestions as to how to do that <laughs>